Now, if we can take a moment to pivot to the Cowboys, and I fully, I fully uh, admit this is going to irritate a handful of Cowboy fans. Not even because I'm saying anything controversial, but simply because it's something no one wants to consider. There is a real possibility out there Jason Witten still has not and will not accept a move. Any, any option or any possibility of him moving back into the booth is gone. I, I don't think he's going to do that again. The word now is that it, after his career, he's going to move into coaching. Well, he's not getting a job here. That's for sure. He's not getting a job here. He's not going to be our tight ends coach. He's not going to be any kind of coordinator or anything like that. He's also putting off, however, his his final year. With Mike McCarthy coming in, that loyalty, that connection that Jason Garrett and Jason Witten have had is gone. Mike McCarthy will not let Witten play an absurd number of snaps. And he will not forsake the development of his players and of his tight ends. Cowboys have done that for a long time with Witten. Say what you want. They have largely let talent, younger talent go under, undeveloped or underdeveloped during their stints here. That's why Martellus Bennett broke out elsewhere. That's why uh, other guys have not been able to realize their potential. They still have to, I think they still have to re sign Blake Jarwin, but I think they might have something there with Jarwin. And they brought in the tight ends coach from the Giants. So maybe there's going to be a little something there because obviously he's in part responsible for Evan Ingram's success there. So they're going to do things differently. And because of that, because Witten's not sure if he wants to retire. There is a lot of talk that he could be headed to New York to play for Jason Witten, the new offensive coordinator in New York. So Cowboy fans aren't sad to see Jason Garrett go to New York. They don't care. They're like, whatever. What's he going to do? Sit there and clap us to death on the sideline? Who cares? I mean, when he came here, we were told he was an offensive genius. That claim held up for one season where he was loaded with talent and a team that was ready to win a Super Bowl, 2007. Nobody really made that case between 8 and 10, yet he was then handed the head coach job. And after 2012, I believe it was, or 13, play calling duties were taken away from him. And so I don't know why there's still this perception out there that he's an offensive guru. Regardless... Jason Garrett's connection to now his connection with Romo ever since he picked Dak over Romo forever fragmented will never recover. But there was a time, if you remember, where you would have guys like Jason Garrett, Tony Romo, Jason Witten, Des Bryant, and DeMarco Murray all traveling to basketball games like college basketball games and things like that, sitting together, having a good time. And it was basically like you had the... Uh, you know, the main kids in the class hanging out with the teacher. It was a weird look, but Jason and Jason have that kind of friendship and everything. And I think Witten, not super interested. I don't even know if there would be a real chance for him to play here in Dallas at this point. The, the Joneses will love him forever and they'll give him that option. But I don't think McCarthy will give him the snaps and the plays that he would want. And because I think the competitor in him wants to play the most because he thinks he can do the most of any of the tight ends on the roster. I think that's nudging him in the direction of New York to play for the Giants. And it's a really weird thing because Jason Witten is kind of perceived as the modern day uh, Mr. Cowboy. You know, Bob Lilly is Mr. Cowboy, but this is like the modern day Mr. Cowboy. And so to see Jason Witten in New York is really weird. What's even weirder about it is do you really think he's going to get snaps over Evan Ingram? I mean, yeah, you'll have two tight end sets and all of that, and they do have Saquon, so they have a great running back and a second-year quarterback, so he could still be like a security blanket of sorts and still block, but eh, it doesn't really sound that glamorous. I don't know what the likelihood of it is, but it is a weird thing to consider either way, just the idea of Jason Witten 
in New York playing for the Giants. Like, the visual of the jersey and the helmet don't even look right to me. And I understand, like, you know, when Emmett Smith was cut by the Cowboys and then he played one more year with the Cardinals, people said, like, oh, that looked weird and that looked gross. Yeah, I get it. You were going from Cowboys blue to Cardinals red. That looks really weird and jarring. But even though we're talking blue and blue here, let alone, you know, the the royal blue trim of the Cowboys uh, jersey and the stripes and all that compared to the all pretty much royal blue of the Giants jerseys and helmets, that still looks weird, even though it's largely in the same color with just a little bit of red trim or whatever. It, It looks weird. It's not a cool thing to think about, but, you know... It is what it is, thing. Like, it happens. And at this point in his career, I don't. It's nothing against Jason. I'm ready to move on from Jason Witten. Like, even when he came back, I thought this will be a marginal boost to the team. I don't think it really helps them because the production you got out of the three tight ends that they employ, employed the year before, Jarwin, Swaim, and Rico didn't really get on the field to do anything. Who was the third guy? See, I'm blanking on the third guy, but the production they got out of the tight end position collectively matched what they had lost in Witten. So to bring Witten back in this year, you know, Witten had his moments. They were early in the earlier in the year, and he faded as the season wore on a little bit. But the explosive plays and a lot of that came from Jarwin, which only underscored further why Jarwin should have been the guy that we were playing in a lot of those moments, giving him a lot more opportunity to develop and grow. And instead, we had gone right back to handing the baton to the 38-year-old future Hall of Fame tight end. It doesn't make sense. At some point, you have to understand there's a passing of the torch, and whether if, if Jason wasn't willing to pass the torch himself, it was Jason Garrett's job as the head coach, and maybe even Jerry's job, but really more so Jason's job, to step in and make that decision for him. If he goes to New York... I, I mean, Jason won't have that authority. There'll be a new head coach instead. So we'll see how that goes. But either way, I don't know if it happens or if Witten does finally just accept that the career is done and goes to uh, goes into coaching because the Giants, I, they'll be better next year, but I don't know why we would just assume that they're going to be a playoff team by any means. I think it's better to leave it as it is and just kind of call it... Um, call it a career man like it's better to be a lifetime cowboy with one less year under your belt and what 35 catches less than to continue to push on in new york and do that when you're 39 years old and you're not going to be getting snaps over ingram anyway